Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to FA Cup Prediction. Exactly the same as the last round, we're going to do all the game and I still get there's still one game to be decided. Um, but we worry about that when we get down to that. Um, uh, before we get started, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company, where I sell my merch. The link for my merch is down in the, the description below, so go feel free to check it out after watching this video. Um, but anyway guys, you know what I'll do, so guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Northampton Town playing Derby County. Um, Northampton Town is one of them teams this year that are doing very well in their division. Um, they started off a really like dodgy um, first couple of months. They go up against the Derby County side that, you know, ain't doing too well in the championship. I know they have one, and then no one in the danger zone, but in my expectations, Derby have really gone downhill this season. Um, as far as this one goes, I'm going to call it my first upset of the fourth round, and I'm going to go for a 2 1 Northampton Town win. My next one is QPR versus Sheffield Wednesday. Um, both these teams in the championship. Um, it's going to be a very interesting ride for both these teams. I know Sheffield Wednesday not bright out of the last round, and, and you know Sheffield Wednesday deserve to go through, in my opinion. Um, QPR are. As I said, one of them teams, I think they're both at the bottom half as well of the championship table. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Um, but I'm going to go for my first replay of the fourth round, and I'm going to go for a one on score line for that one. My next one is Brentford versus Leicester. Um, Brentford, um, you know, do they can in the championship. Leicester do very well in the Premier League. Um, the title away seems to be off um, for Leicester, but Brentford on the other hand, as I said, doing okay in the championship. Um, I think this is going to be a hard game for Brentford, but I'm going to go for a 2 0 Leicester win. My next one is Burnley versus Norwich. Um, Burnley just come off a win against United. Norwich coming off with a defeat to Tottenham. Um, I think Norwich got to be more concerned about their Premier League status um, than going through to the next round of the FA Cup. But I know Burnley ain't 100% safe yet either. The Premier League is so tight this year, it really is untrue. Um, as far as this game goes, I'm going to go for a 2-1. Burnley win. My next one is Coventry City versus Birmingham. Um, yeah, Planet St Andrews and Burnley got the Birmingham got the away tie. Um, as far as I know, they've got share the stadium of 50-50. Um, I know Birmingham fans ain't too happy about um, having their away tie. At their own Pacific ground, um, but it is what it is. Um, this game is going to be slightly interesting, but I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline. Um, I think this one's got a draw written all over it, just to see it turn around and be a play that's like his own ground. But you know, it's what you get when you ground share. My next one is Millwall versus Sheffield United. Millwall are doing, you know, okay in the championship. Um, Sheffield United doing ever so well in the Premier League. I think Sheffield United are going to win this game, and I'm going to go for a 3 1 Sheffield United win. My next one is Newcastle versus Oxford United. Um, Newcastle, uh, you know, Considering Steve Bruce took some stick at the start of the season, um, 
you know, don't think he's cut out for the job. He's doing okay, but Newcastle have got their habit of playing a game in football and ending up with serious injuries. Um, I think they've had like three games in the bounce where players came off injured. Um, but going up against an okay Oxford nicest side. Because of the big difference between the two clubs, I'm going to go for an upset and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Oxford United win. My next one is Portsmouth versus Barnsley. Portsmouth for League One going up against Championships are Barnsley. Um, both teams are... I know Portsmouth doing better than Barnsley, um, but... If you look at the overall status of, you know, both clubs, I still reckon Barnsley might survive just about. And obviously my championship predictions will be coming up um, on Saturday or Sunday for the midweek games. And that's where you get more of an insight of my prediction thinkings and teams in the championship. Um, but for this one, I'm going to call it a draw and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Reading versus Cardiff City. Um, both teams in the championship. Um, Amir Amiriano Salah has just passed his uh, first anniversary uh, of his death. Um, obviously, my thoughts are still with his family and friends. And, you know, it's a horrible thing to happen. But I think it does bring football into perspective of us fans and sometimes makes it um you know not that important that we sometimes make out it is um and this where you know it brings life back in perspective to all us fans. Um going forward this game I'm gonna go for a two one Reading win. My next one is Southampton versus Tottenham, my front cover of this video. Um, Southampton are doing ever so well in the Premier League. Um, yes, they went for that dodgy period where, um, you know, fighting the relegation, but they seem to found something that seems to be working. Um, going up against Tottenham, um, Joseph Rudio's Tottenham side. No Harry Kane, I think Southampton are going to win this one and I'm going to go for a 2-0 Southampton win. My next one is the first three home games for West Ham. It's West Ham versus West Brom. Um, West Ham have got to play West Brom, Liverpool and Brighton all at home, all three games in a row. Um, West Brom, you know, okay, yeah, the gaps got tighter between, you know, championship top two and the playoff teams in the championship. I don't think that's going to have a big impact. I'm expecting West Brom to go through, and I expect them to go through on a 3 0 West Brom win. My next one is Hull City versus Chelsea. Both teams have got to be looking into this. Um, Chelsea probably more than Hull. But considering Chelsea have not invested in the market. Um, I'm still going to give it to Chelsea. But I'm expecting a very scrappy 1-0 Chelsea win. My next one is Manchester City versus Fulham. Um, Fulham doing well in the championship. Man City, obviously the Premier League title it's done. Um, but you still got the cups to play for in Manchester City. Though. I think Man City got to breeze through this and we've got to go for a 4-1 Manchester City win. My next one is Watford or Tramiel versus Manchester United. Yet yeah, this is the one game that's still got to be played. The first scheduled game was called off due to, I think it's a waterlogged pitch. Um, but anyway, this is why you're seeing this behind me. Um, 
if Watford go through of this tie, I'm expecting Watford to breeze past um, Man United with ease. 3-0 I'll go um, for Watford. If it's Tramia, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Tramia win. Um, my next one is Shrewsbury versus Liverpool. Um, Shrewsbury doing okay in their division. This is just a big burden for Liverpool. Um, I've got so many games to plan already. I am going to predict a Liverpool win, but I'm going to predict a 2 0 Liverpool win. My last one is AFC Bournemouth versus Arsenal. Um, Arsenal just coming off a draw against Chelsea. Not that I'm going to put that into perspective, but I am going to put this game into perspective when I'm going to talk about Bournemouth beating Brighton and 3 1 at home. I think that's just going to give Bournemouth a little bit of confidence, and I'm going to go for a 2 1 Bournemouth win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do, guys. I know. Big fun, I hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.